So three and D, huh? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> when, when when Hubert told you that you were first team, or you made the all defensive team. Mm -hmm. did, how quickly did three and D pop <laughs> into your mind? Uh, I was messing with Coach Walken um, to practice yesterday, and I said that to him. Shooting like 50, 40, 90, so look good. 90? Not 90. Yeah, it ain't 90. <laughs> like 80. Yeah. Hey, John, up any uh, pick and pop plays for you now? <laughs> nah, but I might get a couple up this week. We'll see. Yeah. But on a real note, how much did just that defensive recognition mean to you? That's been a part of your game that you've really, you know, been emphasizing, trying to work on. Just what did that mean? What was your reaction? It was huge because, I mean, just going into this year, that was one of the main things I really wanted. To show I can do, I think, like for me and just in the position I'm in, like showing I can defend and do different stuff, especially with just how we play defense with a lot of like pro style defense, just like icing screens, doing different things like that, switching out. That was one of the main things I wanted to really improve on this year. And to be first team and top three in the defensive player of the year voting, that was huge for me. I was excited. And talk a little bit about RJ. What was your reaction to that? How do you feel about it? Oh, we all were super excited. I mean, we were really surprised, honestly, that it wasn't unanimous. I was, I mean, even I got a vote. I was like, I mean, that's pretty crazy. I thought it would be like a unanimous decision, but I mean, we all were excited for RJ because I mean, just how far he's come since he's been here from freshman year to now and to get to that point, I mean, it was huge. What about that Caleb winning? Have you guys talked to him since he got that award? Yeah, I talked to him. I was super pumped for him too. I mean, just to see both of them go their separate ways and it worked out for both of them it was great just another question along those lines of the awards just what did it mean for you to see coach davis recognized as ac coach of the year well initially we didn't know because nobody said anything when they were telling us the awards uh we didn't know but then coach lebo had kind of stopped everything and told us he won coach of the year but i mean it makes sense just the jump we made from last year to this year was huge and i mean he was the biggest part of it anything that you said to him or just celebrate with him even though it sounds like he maybe didn't want you guys to yeah he wouldn't he don't let us celebrate with him he didn't want any recognition so we couldn't really say anything to him when you were when you were in the process of emphasizing becoming a better defensive player what was the first thing that you had to do just i would say just like a lot more film just even locking in even more on everything i always felt like on switches and stuff i could really move my feet especially with guys i felt good in those positions but just watching film, looking at guys like Mark Gasol and different people like that, that the way they defend screens and different things like that. But also Coach Sully was a huge help too, because last year obviously he couldn't coach on the floor with just whatever the rule was or whatnot. But just having him on the staff has been huge for us defensively. I mean, you see we were number six adjusted, rated defense in the country. I mean, just everything he's done for us this year has been amazing on the defensive end. Armando, so, it, does, it, it does always seem like you know the opposing scout really well. Like you might be like bluffing a little bit sometimes with the jokes, but like it always seems like you, have you started studying other teams more than you did in the past maybe? For sure, but time too has helped me because I know how teams play now and it being my fifth year, I got that advantage of playing against teams so many times now, I really understand it. But just getting older and understanding basketball at a higher level now, just allowing me to be able to just defend different guys and know what they like to do and things of that nature. Armando, I guess either over the off season or even during the season, were there any, you know, defensive drills you were doing differently to kind of, you know, I guess get the, you know, mental reps down of, of, of you know, positioning and anything like that? For sure. This year we've done, I mean, defense is one of our main focuses more this year and a lot of one-on-one -on -one drills and Big May and Coach Sully giving me different pointers and things. And I think just overall as a team, just the trust level, that's been huge for us this year because I feel like in years past, specifically last year, in screens, guys were kind of scared to sell out in a sense of help their teammate because we wasn't sure if our teammate would help us. But just having that trust level of me knowing, me being high on the screen and being able to affect it, knowing Harry will be there, to help tag my man, that's played a huge role in everything this season. I think that's really the underrated part of just the team because you look at the numbers, RJ having big games, me having big games, Cormac, everybody having big games, but really it just boils down to <coughs> us playing as a team. That's been like the biggest part of us this whole year. Armando, you said that Coach Davis doesn't really let you guys celebrate him. If he did, what would you say to him or what would you guys do? I was just talking how proud we are of him. Uh, he took a lot of heat last year just with everything and to come bounce back and 
confidence never wavering, coach the same and stick to the same thing that we've been doing, it's been huge. And it shows like once coach get guys that he all recruited and it's his team and we play the way that he wants to play, it's great results happening. Armando, um, how much, how, how important is it for you guys um, to win this tournament? You specifically, uh, somebody as decorated as you are, haven't been able to do that. Um, how, how important or, or unimportant is that to you as opposed to next week happening as well? It's, I mean, we're desperate to win this tournament. It's something that nobody here has won, and we want to win it bad because it's a lot of things. First, we want to be able to hang another banner for the team, but also it affects our seed in, in March, and obviously the tournament isn't easy, so if we can make it as easy on us as possible in terms of getting a high seed and things like that, that's what we want to do. I guess just moving from you guys beat Duke, you know, you have Cormac, he's on top of the – Bus, you're on Franklin. You're, you know, starting chance. Yeah. Won't get into that, but um, how do you go from that to just tuning up and refocusing for the ACC tournament? We just really celebrated that night, and then we all got over it. And um, we know coming into this, we got to either play Florida State or Virginia Tech, and those two teams that play us well. So really, since that game, we've all been locked in on what's next, and we've honestly forgot all about it. Do you remember what happened after the first Duke game, the, the Clemson game at home? Yeah. Uh, have you talked about what happened then and how to avoid that? I think we really just learned our lesson from it, but it was also a quick turnaround, too. You, like, in a game like that, you beat Duke, and then obviously all the stuff after that, and then just making that quick transition. I don't think any of us really re realized in a sense of what was to come, and obviously Clemson came in hungry, too, and we just didn't really grasp that, but honestly, that was a great lesson for us. Well, just listening, just listening to you talk about the the tournament title and trying to chase that is the number one seed. How important is that? Uh, maybe for you personally to try to achieve one of those. I think I saw somewhere like number one seed goes to the final four, maybe like forty percent of the time or something. It was something crazy like that, but just knowing that um, better than our chances to. Not play an easier schedule, but play a higher seed. Sure. It helps us, really. Is there something that you guys have been kind of emphasizing in practice <clears throat> leading up to the tournament this week in particular? No, because we really don't know who we plan, but we've been doing both team scouts, so that's been different, but it's been great for us to play against a bunch of different looks and how teams will play us. And I mean, really, we just got to keep playing hard, stay locked in, and don't underestimate anybody. What was it like uh, dividing up that time? I guess, is it like, you know, Half of the normal prep time to look at VT, half of the normal time to look. Is that how it pretty much works? Yeah, it's weird, but because it's the first time I've really done it since I've been here, but we don't know who we're going to play, so we got to just be ready. Can you tell me about Coach Davis and the excuses jar? Yeah, um, that's something that he keeps in his um, office, and luckily I've never had to put anything in there, but there has been guys where you had to put some in the excuse jar. Is that something that's – then maybe talked about around the locker room? Yes, because um, you don't want to get put in there. What did you What did you tell Caleb when you talked to him? Talk him more. Just talking about I was proud for him, happy for him, and um, it was well-deserved the way he's been able to carry that team in Arizona. They played great all year, and, I mean, we may play them, and it's nothing more than I love to see that. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. It would be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be crazy. Who would guard him? I guess Cormac probably. I don't know. Um, who are, <laughs> RJ, hey, who are RJ on? All right. Randy. I'll talk a little trash to Caleb too. I might got him a little bit. How much of those games do you get to see like in real time as they're happening? <laughs> oh, they play so late, man. I, I I try to go to sleep early, honestly. So, but I do. I always look at the highlights and see how he does. What do you think the level of the defense overall as a team is? Is it is it as good as it was during the ten game win streak or better? I would say around the same. I think during that 10-game win streak, that was like peak defense, but we want to stay around that peak, and especially around this time, and just correcting stuff and getting better even more. I mean, it'll be a little tougher now just with how the tournament is and not being able to scout teams is hard and a quick turnaround, but as long as we stick to our principles and stick to what we're doing, we should be fine. Coach Davis has talked a lot about, and we were just talking with him about how much – just emotion he coaches with. You're obviously well familiar with that. Do you think the personalities of the team this year match that? 
hundred percent. We got a bunch of guys that care and everybody want to play hard. And I think that's one of the greatest things about being a part of this team because we got guys that's going out there competing every day, like every day in practice. We're always getting into it. And I mean, it's the best and it's a lot of fun and it's just so competitive. When did you see that shift, if at all, if at any point? <clears throat> Really since day one, I think just our runs in the summer were different than usual. We were always physical, getting into arguments, and everybody wanted to win. And I mean, credit to the new guys that came in, but also me and RJ, too, came in with a different mindset this year. What was Coach Davis's thought of the day for practice day, if there was one? Oh, I might get in trouble. I don't know. Let me look at it. <laughs> Excuse your time. Yeah. <laughs> Gigi. I don't know if I looked at the, it hard enough. It was um, the time to measure success is when all is said and done, not when there's more to be said and more to be done. Oh. And on that note, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.